explain something about general exceptions. Is there something like that in tort law? Nishan, that's a very good question. First thing that we need to remember is Indian Penal Code is a codified law. There, in Chapter 4, which is general exception from Section 76 to 106, we discuss about lot of exceptions that is available in Indian Penal Code starting from mistake of facts, accident, incapacity due to infancy, insanity or intoxication, acts of judge, necessity, consent, communication in good faith, act done under threats, trivial acts and private defense. But remember, law of thought is not a codified law. Here, nothing is codified. But then, we have certain amount of general defenses which are almost matching to general exceptions. Whenever we discuss about general defenses under tort law, we have major eight differences. But what I am doing here, I am explaining eight major defenses as well as few other not so known defenses. Now in this session, I am bringing them all with the help of images and from my next session, I am going to do independent videos on each of those defenses along with case laws. So, this video is named as video 1 basically covers all the general defenses and from next video we are going to understand every single aspect with the help of case law illustration etc now let's get into the first slide to know what are the different general defenses available under tort law well as i said in the introduction there are eight major general defenses available against tortious liability or these are the defenses available with the defendant. The first eight are the major general defenses which are discussed everywhere. They are voluntary non-fit injuria, plaintiff the wrongdoer, inevitable accident, act of God, private defense, mistake, necessity and statutory authority. Other than these eights, there are few other general defenses available against tortious liability like act of state, parents having parental or quasi-parental authority and acts causing slight harm. What are we going to understand in this particular video? We are going to understand all these general defenses against tortious liability with the help of a beautiful image. Basically, we are trying to register all the general defenses available under tort law. From my next video, we are going to discuss each and every defenses individually along with case law. So now let's get into the next slide to understand what is voluntary non-fit injuria or the defense of consent. The first general defense available is voluntary non-fit injuria or the defense of consent. Now, the plaintiff comes to the court and says that defendant has caused some legal injury to him. But however, when the defendant say that whatever I have done, I had the consent of the plaintiff and if he proves that the consent was available, in that case, the case will go in favor of the defendant because there he is proving the first general defense available that is voluntary non-fit injuria. Few examples for defense of consent is like the consent given before para jumping. Now, before you do para jumping, you know there is certain amount of risk involved in that particular jump. Now, if your consent was free consent, the consent given without any force, etc., without any fraud, etc., in that case, that is a valid consent. And after that, even after taken sufficient care by the defendant if something happens to you in that case he will take the defense of consent here you need to observe few very important things like there is free consent available there was sufficient care taken by the defendant all of that is must and then if something happens the defendant can take the defense of consent likewise if you are inviting someone to home and after they entering your house you cannot say they have committed trespass you have already given consent to them to enter your home so there is no question arises about trespass after giving permission to doctor for a surgery which has certain amount of risk later you cannot say that 
the defendant has done something to you you have already given consent but the doctor cannot be negligent that is one very important aspect you need to remember you have given permission for someone to write autobiography about you and you have given some information which is causing defamation to you now if such information is given by you and you have approved you have given consent to write about that in that case you cannot put defamation case against the writer likewise you are going to watch a cricket match you are buying the ticket you are watching the cricket match and a batsman hits a ball and it hits you you cannot claim any kind of damage there these are all the examples for defense of consent and i'm going to discuss each of them with case laws when i'm discussing independently on voluntary non-fit injury which will be our next video but for now let's move to the second one the second one is plaintiff the wrongdoer or extorpi causa non obitur action which means no action arises from an immoral cause if you yourself has committed an immoral thing or illegal thing now you cannot go and ask the court that the defendant has done something to you like for example you are parking your cycle on the middle of the road and someone comes and hits the cycle now you have already done a mistake and it is not clearly visible that someone has parked a cycle there which has caused accident in that case you cannot go and say that the plaintiff has caused damage because you yourself are the wrongdoer that's about plaintiff the wrongdoer we'll understand about that more in my detailed video but for now let's move to the third one the third defense available with the defendant under tortious liability is inevitable accident inevitable accidents are those accidents which are unavoidable unforeseen you have never ever expected that something like that can happen i will make it easy with the help of an example imagine you are in mid of a forest and you have a gun and there is a dangerous animal and you have taken a shot against that animal now shooting animal is not legal i am not discussing about that now imagine it is legal and somebody took a shot now that bullet instead of hitting the animal has hit some tree or stone and took a turn and hit another fellow who was with you now that hit so forcefully that the other guy has dead now here you have the defense that such an accident was inevitable accident you have never thought about this and you had no control after the bullet has gone out of the gun now your aim was the animal and it shooting a tree or stone and rebounding and hitting someone that is inevitable and hence you can take the defense that's about the third general defense available under tort the fourth defense available with the defendant under tort law is act of god this is also known as vis major now here what happens the plaintiff has gone through some damage and he puts a case against the defendant and defendant comes to the court and says that whatever damage happened to the plaintiff was due to some act of god like for example imagine there was a musical night in your city you and your friends have bought ticket and the same day there was an earthquake in your city so that all the programs in the city got cancelled now you cannot put a case against the organizer for the refund of your ticket money because whatever happened was over and beyond the control of the organizer or the defendant that he can take the defense of act of god in situations like earthquake flood extraordinary rain unexpected rain damage due to the lightning etc there you can go for the defense of act of god remember i have mentioned very specifically extraordinary rain not just rain or completely unexpected rain these are the situations which will be discussed in court and if the court believes that this is an act of god which was uncontrollable and never thought that that would have happened on that particular time 
in those cases the defense of act of god is available with the defendant the fifth general defense available under tort law is private defense whenever plaintiff causes some imminent danger and to defend himself or his property if the defendant is using reasonable force that will be considered as private defense and that is a general defense available with the defendant now here imminent danger that means the spontaneous danger which has happened at that particular time is very important it is not apprehended or foreseen okay something is happening at that particular moment and to defend himself or his property's protection if the defendant is using reasonable force in that case if a plaintiff puts a case against defendant defendant can always use the defense of private defense that is one very important aspect that we need to remember with that i am taking you to sixth defense the sixth general defense that we are studying under tort law is mistake but however most of the time it is a question whether mistake is a general defense or not in criminal law or ipc we have very clearly understood that mistake of fact is a general exception available but here even mistake of fact is challenged most of the time mistake is not considered as one of the defense under tort law like for example if a publisher publishes something about you and you put a case against the publisher saying that he has caused defamation now if he comes to your home and says sorry i did it by mistake are you going to allow him just like that no you will still ask for damage or compensation that's what happens under tort law so i would rather say mistake is not that famous general defense available under tort law but for theory theory purpose you can mention mistake as one of the general defense available under tort law there is a famous saying saying that necessity knows no law this is one of the famous general defense available under tort whenever someone does some act which causes certain amount of damages but if such act is done to avoid greater harms in that case that will be considered by the court as a defense now imagine a patient came to hospital he is unconscious and in that status doctor realizes that a surgery is required to save the patient here doctor does a surgery without the consent of the patient now patient cannot get up and say okay you have done something against me without my consent i am putting a case this is done because that is necessary at that particular time so doctors act can be defended likewise to save a sinking ship if somebody is throwing some goods out of the ship that is also done to avoid the greater harms otherwise the entire ship will sink to save the entire ship and lives in it if somebody is throwing out some goods that is okay because it is avoiding the greater harms likewise there is series of huts which caught fire and to avoid it spreading if somebody is demolishing one hut from that line so that the fire is not spreading that is also an act done to avoid the greater harms that is necessity so in that case the defendant can use the defense of necessity this is what we need to understand from this particular general defense with that i am moving to the eighth one the eighth defense is when the act is done by statutory authority i'll give an example now when listening to my videos if you have carefully listened most of the time you will hear a train horn sound etc why so because there is a railway track passing near to my apartment so that is creating certain amount of inconvenience to my video and if i go and put a complaint against railway authority there will not be any case against that because railways are taken care by the statutory authority it is run by state and hence there will not be any case so whatever is caused by statutory authority which is essential and which is not extraordinary in that case there will not be any case against them because these are statutory authorities and defense available with them because 
to take care of the entire population they need to take care of few things which might cause certain amount of inconvenience to general public and that cannot be considered so this is about the eighth exception and from next one they are not that very important you can mention them in your answer or just for general awareness you can keep in your memory but these aids we are going to understand them with detailed case laws etc from my next video act of the state is one of the defense available with the state whenever something did for the larger benefit of the people in that case you cannot put a case against them considering that they have committed a tort or so like for example during lockdown people were not allowed to go out of the house why because to prevent from covid that is with the larger interest state has taken that measure in that case there is a defense available with the state you cannot put case against them or you cannot say they have committed tort that's the ninth one parents having parental or quasi parental authority this is the 10th defense available this is available with the parents or the quasi parental authority like for example if your parents does some act for the welfare of you you cannot put a case against them for their acts likewise what is quasi parental authority imagine you are in college and you are having a pack of cigarette in your pocket and teacher finds it they break it and put it in the dustbin you cannot say okay they have spoiled one packet of cigarette and put a case against them it is not possible whatever they have done they have done for the welfare of you i don't think somebody puts a case against them you will silently go home and keep it uh, silent as much as possible now let's move to the 11th one and one very important thing don't smoke smoking kills and uh, don't get into the habit of smoking alcohol etc and the love and defense available here is acts causing slight harm we have discussed under ipc ipc section 95u the trivial acts or the acts causing slight harm it's not an offense there likewise in tort also acts causing slight harm or you experiencing certain amount of small inconvenience or certain amount of legal injury if it is too small uh, that will not be considered by the court under tort law also that is also one of the general exception available with the defendant and that's all for this particular presentation but remember this is not the end this is the beginning of the series of video where we are going to understand what is that where where okay whatever we are going to understand one by one in detail with the help of lot of case laws which gives sufficient content for you to write answers in your exam with that i am handing over this presentation to nishan and hope to see you with my next presentation bye bye basically everybody is trying to say not me not me hmm whatever with that i'm concluding this session please subscribe our channel please like share and comment our videos thank you bye bye <laughs>